Beauty is more than skin deep, it also applies to your teeth and your hair. Both these things have a huge impact on your looks, and of course they also require the same care and attention as your skin and your makeup. And once again, using organic products rather than synthetic compounds can make a world of difference. In this chapter, we'll look at why and how to use organic toothpaste and shampoo. Organic toothpaste brushing your teeth is an important habit to get into and one that's very good for you. Of course, brushing your teeth is a great way to kill bacteria in your mouth that can otherwise cause bad breath, halitosis, and also damage the enamel of your teeth and your gums. Moreover, cleaning your teeth is not just important for your oral hygiene, it's also important for your overall health. That's because your mouth is the number one entry point for any bacteria that might cause disease to get inside your body and make you ill. But have you ever stopped to question exactly what it is that you're putting into your mouth? Because unfortunately, not all toothpaste is made equal. And if you're not using organic toothpaste, chances are that you're actually causing a bit of damage to yourself as well. That's because your average, store-bought toothpaste actually includes a number of harmful ingredients. In fact, the key ingredient in most toothpastes is fluoride and even that is bad for you. Consider switching to organic toothpaste then and use this post as your guide to doing so. Downsides of non-organic toothpaste. The key ingredient in most toothpastes is fluoride. This substance, which is also added to our water, is actually made by extracting it from airborne industrial waste given off by fertilizer manufacturers. Not only that, but fluoride is actually neurotoxic. That means it can cause damage to your nervous system, aka your brain. There are more issues with non-equals organic toothpaste too. For example, a lot of them include SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate which is used to make toothpaste foam. It's actually a skin irritant for many people. Then there's saccharin. You may have heard of saccharin because it is actually a natural form of sweetener. It has been shown to cause cancer in lab rats and it can also upset natural blood sugar levels causing food carvings and other issues. And then there's the fact that a lot of toothpastes, particularly whitening toothpastes, can actually damage the enamel o the teeth and even corrode the gums. This is simply because the ingredients used are too potent and may therefore cause more damage than good. Again, this is particularly true for young children who really don't need strong chemicals applied to their teeth. In fact, avoiding using commercial toothpastes can actually ensure that a child's adult teeth will come through looking a lot whiter and a lot stronger. Organic Toothpaste Ingredients Thankfully, there are a ton of great organic toothpaste ingredients that you can use instead of fluoride. You can then either buy products that use these ingredients instead, or you can try to create your own organic toothpaste or organic mouthwash using them. Some of the best toothpaste ingredients include 1. Neem. Neem is an incredible ingredient with a lot of promising evidence surrounding it. It has even been suggested to outperform traditional dental products for reducing the amount of plaque. Other studies show that it is highly effective at combating gingivitis. It's extracted from a type of leaf and is entirely natural, making it a perfect alternative to fluoride if you're trying to make your own natural, organic toothpaste. 2. Coconut Oil. Another popular option is coconut oil. Yes, coconut oil is useful for just about everything it would seem and it is certainly going to be your best friend when it comes to living an organic lifestyle. Coconut oil can be used to help thicken the product you make and it will also help to nourish the mouth and also reduce the growth of bacteria. But you can also use coconut oil, or any other oil for that matter, another way. The practice of oil pulling dates back a long way and has been used for centuries to kill bacteria and improve the whiteness of teeth. It's a great, natural way to really improve your dental health. 3. Oregano Oil As mentioned, any oil can be used for oil pulling but there are also a wide range of other good oils you can use specifically in toothpaste recipes. These include oregano oil, which also has great analgesic qualities. This means it can be used to reduce pain and discomfort and it's also great at fighting swelling and other problems. Buying the best organic toothpaste. Most people though will probably just want to buy ready-made organic toothpaste. This can save a lot of time and it ensures you should be getting a good product. The only challenge is finding the right organic mouthwash or toothpaste, which is where we come in. 
If you choose to look yourself, then just make sure to only consider products that list their ingredients. Not all toothpastes do, but you should consider this a warning sign when they do not. Organic Shampoo Organic shampoos are relatively easy to come by and you have plenty of options on the market if you want to try them out. What's more, is that an organic shampoo can offer immediate tangible benefits and really help you to see the benefits of switching to a more organic lifestyle. It's fun, it's easy and it's a great learning experience. Read on then and we'll take a look at how to find the best organic shampoo. Why use organic shampoo? The big benefit of an organic shampoo is that it is much kinder to your hair, your skin and your overall health. While you might not realize it, many of the unnatural shampoo and hair products you buy in stores will actually be doing more harm to your hair health than good. This is due to a number of factors, for starters, many synthetic, chemical-based shampoos will use much too astringent ingredients. These are designed to help remove the bacteria that can otherwise smell, while also helping to eliminate grease. The downside of that though is that they're often just too efficient. The result is that they can end up completely stripping the hair of all its natural moisture, which leaves it looking dry, coarse and more prone to splitting. This makes your hair instantly appear a lot less healthy and the more you wash it, the worse it becomes. What's more, is that these ingredients can also end up stripping the skin of its natural moistures too. This is particularly true for the skin on your scalp of course and it can lead to irritation making your head flaky and itchy. Of course, this is one of the contributing factors to dandruff. Likewise, you'll also be rubbing your hands and your face with the shampoos, which means that they can also affect other parts of your skin, possibly even leading to acne and other blemishes. With all that in mind, let's take a look at how to find the best organic shampoo and conditioner. Making your own organic hair shampoo. Want to make your own organic hair shampoo? There are plenty of different ingredients and recipes you can use, each of which uses different natural ingredients to help you avoid chemicals and really support the natural health of your hair and scalp. Otherwise, another good recipe you can start right away is to use Coconut milk Liquid Castile soap Essential oils, peppermint, lavender, rosemary and orange are all good. For dry hair, add a little almond oil. Now just combine all the ingredients in an old shampoo bottle or jar. Shake well to mix and then keep in the shower for up to a month. Shake before each use and use about a teaspoon each time you wash your hair. While the coconut milk will moisturize your hair, the soap will kill off any bacteria and cleanse your scalp and the essential oils will help to provide a pleasant smell. Use about 1 quarter cup of coconut milk, 1 quarter cup of soap and 20 drops for your essential oils. Conclusion. At this point, you now understand the real benefits of organic beauty products, and the very serious potential dangers of non-organic options. Switching to organic makeup and skincare can help you to nourish your skin, avoid unwanted reactions, and improve your overall health. It's fun, it saves money, and it's kinder to the environment, what's not to like? Of course, there are many more options for taking care of your looks and your health with organic products. But now you have the basic understanding of what makes something organic, what the most popular ingredients are, and how to mix new products yourself, there's nothing to stop you going all in on your organic beauty. Time to glow. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates tested and good products links are in the description box. You can buy by clicking the links make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.